Hey, YouTube. Let me sing a song. That's Stevie Wonder. He was a prophet. He was so in tune to human nature. So I would like to do a little rendition. I can't do too much because I don't want to get uh, demonetized. I want to sing this song. This is directed directly towards you, Mr. J. Wilson. <laughs> it's not too cool to be critical, but you brought this up on yourself. Mm -hmm. Why you? Why do you keep on repeat repeating your song, telling us how you are going to change right from wrong? Because if you really want to hear our views, you haven't done nothing. Yeah. We would not care to wake up to the nightmare that's becoming real life. Jackson 5 sing along on baby say, do the wop boop and don't undo the wop. Jay Wilson, if you really want to hear our views, you haven't done nothing. Yay. So Jay Wilson's back on again today. He, I know people wonder, some people wonder, say, why are you getting back involved with that boy? Why are you bothering him? Why are you inserting yourself again, Timothy Blaine? Because he is an irritating man. There are certain people that irritate you and you, you're chomping. To be frank, every day I struggle. Every day I struggle to not comment. To not comment on his arrogance. To not comment on his insecurity. To not comment on his braggadocio. There's just something about this character, Mr. J. Wilson, that irritates the shit out of me. Right? So apparently now he says that my receipts were wrong, although Social Blade is there. They got my numbers right. Everybody I talked to, they got their subscribers right. I don't know. He tried to block them. He got, he has on his page uh, the block, right? But when you go to the page, you'll see that it, for some reason, they're listed there. Actually, they're listed over and over again. You go down the column. He disputes that. He says those numbers are incorrect. Apparently, he's pre produced other receipts. So I have a challenge for you, for you, Jay Wilson. Minister of God, I have a truck, pillar of virtue. I would like for you to unblock your numbers. That's all you got to do. Teresa's numbers are unblocked. Johnny Mac's numbers are unblocked. My numbers are unblocked. You, you seem to be grouping us together, but really the only thing we have in common is that our numbers are all unblocked. Why are you trying to hit up and have an argument and disputing social blade and saying our numbers are incorrect and wrong? Why can't you just simply take 30 seconds and unblock your numbers? That is my challenge to you, Jay Wilson, pillar of God and virtue. Unblock your damn numbers. So he went on and made some other pitiful video today. See, for him, it's just the numbers. He doesn't realize, Jay Wilson, Here's what you don't realize. You say that that every time I speak about you, my numbers go up, right? <laughs> Ooh, child, <laughs> open your eyes and see, Jay. Well, you have eyes, but you do not see. The reason my numbers go up, and let me tell you something, boy. Usually, when I go in on you or anybody else, those videos are demonetized the white folk don't want to hear that shit right so it, it ain't about getting no money out of it now you so dumb you may not even go and check but when you come after people oftentimes most of the time those videos are demonetized by google right so what was i saying uh okay so that's challenge stands the reason why the numbers go up is because people don't like your ass. Don't you? Are you that stupid, Jay Wilson? How can I make a video about you? I usually get maybe a, a couple hundred responses, comments. Whenever I talk about you, I get 600 comments, right? And they all talk about what a charlatan you are, what an arrogant asshole you are. 
the numbers are people are only interested because they come there to hate on your ass. It ain't about me. It's about you. Can't you see that you're despised by many? Perhaps you should change some of your ways. Try to tame some of your arrogance and stop all this bragging. It gets on people's nerves. It certainly gets on my nerves. But see, I got nothing else to do. I can come on here all day. Just talk about Jay Wilson. Brings pleasure to my heart because I'm releasing something inside of me. See, here's what you don't understand. Long before I actually started to address you in video, you were already irritating me. And you're irritating not only me, but thousands of other people. They come out of the woodwork. I, I, I don't usually comment, but I got to say that is one arrogant, uh, braggadocious, <laughs> stupid ass bastard, fake preacher. I mean, everything you could think of. You don't, you don't believe me? Go through my comments and see what they're saying about you. I'm not inspiring all that. They're coming here to hate on you. That is the sport. Mr. J. Wilson. So, what else did I want to say about your ass? Let me think. You said some more disparaging things about me. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Oh, you, you, you're commenting about my, my living situation. Oh, you're commenting about dogs. What is this thing with dogs? Why do you think it's such a horrible thing to have a dog? I don't understand it. Is it because they didn't allow dogs in the trailer park? Is that what it is, Jay Wilson? <laughs> if you didn't see a dog till you were a grown man <laughs> because they wouldn't allow it in that nasty-ass trailer you were born up in, raised up in? Is that what, what's wrong with having a dog? Most people say, this nigga living in this big-ass house, you would think he would have some kind of pet in there. Are you not even capable of loving a pet, a dog? I mean, we can understand with all these personality quirks you got, why you don't have a man. But that is an issue, something perhaps we could talk about. So, so, so what you say is you got it going on. You should be able to get anybody you want, right? They all, you said they all want you. You don't pursue them. Just such caca. Don't you think we know what gay men do? Why are you always acting like you are some kind of different kind of person where you never pursue anybody? They all just lining up to see your bald-headed ass. Your 50-year-old bald-headed ass. Of course you go on Jack and all these sites. That's how people meet up now. Because you ain't no different than nobody else. And we, be, we are finally getting to see the queen in you. Ever since you were forced out of the closet by Wally, your ass has been <laughs> progressively, progressively, progressively a messy, messy punk. I mean, just it just seems like every week you're getting more and more like a woman. Why don't you just become a woman? Maybe it's time for you to flip over. You say you're a top. Maybe it's time for you to do some bottom action because you're becoming a girl. You're on here with these silly ass subject matter. It doesn't seem to bother you since you're a person who's only driven by money to keep that damn house going. You don't care how you look. You don't care that all these. I mean, I get something like 900 people coming to my page just to comment about you and their disdain for you. You're not even, it's like you don't need, you're not even aware of it. I know you look at everything because you always have to see you have your ammunition loaded. But of course you say, oh, I never saw it. Oh, I never seen anybody. I never seen anything. I'm just going to keep on being the arrogant asshole that I am. I'm going to keep on picking the fly off of wings. I'm going to keep on talking about Wally because Wally is easy. Step up a bit. Mess with this other man who's after you. Kick it around with him. Work your way up to me. So I've been I've been sweet so far, Jay Wilson. I have been sweet so far. And I'll say that my video last night, man, I said that really didn't get to the bone of the matter. I mean, it's basically just talking about you being a liar. All you have to do is, is, is unlock your numbers. That's the challenge. Just unlock your numbers. And we all see what, what, how many subscribers we have. We just want to verify if you are a liar or not. And that's the way to prove it. That's my challenge to you. Other than that, you can kiss my black ass. <laughs>